Alright guys, we are on our way to find another steam engine hidden deep within the Great Smoky Mountains. This one is just right under Clingman's Dome. We're taking Forney Ridge Trail to Forney Creek Trail, and just right off of Forney Creek Trail to the right there should be a stone indicator. From the stone indicator we're going to go off the trail about 1.85 miles to find this steam engine. Let's go check it out. So this hike is actually one of our most favorite hikes that we've done in the Great Smoky Mountains. Taking this trail down to Andrews Bald, the entire trail, the entire hike is just absolutely beautiful and it's not too difficult, not too long and just the Andrews Bald is just amazing. And we've actually done a full length video which y'all can check out on our channel um, after this video. So we actually have done another really cool steam engine hike in the Great Smoky Mountains. It's off of Grapeyard Ridge Trail and we'll actually pin that to the end of the video if y'all want to check out. That one is a safer option to check out a steam engine in the Smokies because it's right on the trail. And it's a lot safer, the trail is super easy, and it's really beautiful and not a lot of people know about it. So check that one out after this video. I know we come up to the Smokies a lot and we've done um, a lot of trails, but they just never get old. Even doing this one again for the second time is just, we absolutely adore it. We love the Smoky Mountains and there's over 900 miles of trails within the Smoky Mountains. So we've barely done a fraction. So y'all can expect plenty of great Smoky Mountains content in the future. So as you can tell, it's gotten all kind of like dark and gloomy. If you listen, it's starting to rain and there's a little bit of thunder. I love it. I love that weather, but that's a prime example of what we mentioned in a previous video, how weather can change just like that. And it's super important for you to be prepared and have things like rain gear and know how to react to the weather and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Hey guys, quick reminder, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help our channel out. And if you'd like to support us further, we have this awesome thanks button that YouTube has provided for us. It's a way to support our channel monetarily if you so wish. Thank you guys for all your support. Let's get back to it. All right, we've reached Forney Creek Trail. It is to the right. If you continue straight, that's Andrews Bald, but we're gonna take Forney Creek Trail down to the right. We've made it a little bit down Forney Creek Trail, and this massive rock is a sign that we should be looking for the rock indicator on the right. It should be right after this rock. 
So just right after that really big rock to the right of the trail, you're gonna see these three little stacked rocks and some uh, trees laying down on this trail. And that's your only indicator that this is the trail to the steam engine. So as you can tell, this is definitely off the beaten path. This is not a marked trail. You can kind of see where people have walked through here. But if this does not look like something you're comfortable doing, just enjoy the video. We'd rather you stay safe than risk coming out here and getting lost or hurt. All right, about five minutes up the path, you'll start seeing the first relics of the past. These are some old railroad tracks and we're gonna continue on the path to find some more stuff. So we've come across some more relics. That one's got a really cool design on it. Looks like it may have been part of like a wood burning stove or something. If you guys know, let us know in the comments. There's also something hanging on this tree. It's really cool to come across stuff like this. Alright, so we have found the steam engine. This is technically a boiler. So in 1926, before 1926, the Norwood Lumber Company actually like clear cut the south side of Klingman's Dome. And this boiler was used to produce steam to operate a witch that would pull the logs up to be put on the train cars. Um, yeah, super cool to come across this. This is actually the second steam engine that we've come across this week. And as we mentioned, we'll pin it to the end of this video so y'all can check that one out as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our other adventures. All right, we look forward to seeing you on our next one.